Welcome everybody to Brockton High Basketball. This is Miles Jackson bringing you all the action here at Staff Gymnasium and along with my broadcast partner, Chris Bazil. Chris, welcome to the 2019-20 season of Brockton High Basketball. We look forward to having a lot of fun this uh, season. Yeah, it should be a lot of fun and I, li and I like the new guys that they got. Um, great additions, guys, and great additions. A couple, few of them from the JV team. Yeah, let's see, let's see how they co co let's, let's see how they gel together. Now, two years ago, Brockton won 20 games, made it to the South Sectional Final, and got bounced by Newton North. But last year, they had a tough time. Um, Coach Bowen said that um, what they have to do um, this year is finish the games. A lot of times last year, they were in the game in the fourth quarter, but then somehow they squandered the lead yeah, yeah. and ended up losing. Yeah, there were games where they did blow the lead, like the game against Bridgewater, Rainham, and, and a lot of other examples too. Wachusett Regional, they, they did blow those games. Let's see how they close in the fourth quarter. They can't be too complacent this year. Yes, all right, Brockton's in their home white jerseys. Quincy, the Quincy presidents are in their blue. And nice block there by Navon Reed. They expect a lot from Navon, yes. he's a junior. So he's going to be one of the leaders. Wow. Pistol stop and pop right at the free throw line. Yeah, stop and pop. And let's see. Yeah, he's really redeeming himself this season. He was injured last year very early in the year. He looks good so far already. Yep, Navon had a good year out there in um, the varsity football. Shot is missed, partially blocked. Navon gets the rebound, comes down with it quickly, tries to get it to Nichols, and is stolen by the president. They look outside at the top and stolen. And by Todd Robinson. And he lays it up and in. Two quick, two quick back, two quick baskets by the boxers. They're looking good so far. Yeah, nice anticipation by Todd Robinson, one of the guards for Brockton High this year. Yes. And you yes. see it's off um, the boxes. You'll see it here. Robinson yep. with the steal. He'll take it all the way. Yeah, Todd Robinson. Todd Robinson's gonna have a good year. Um, he's looking, he's a senior looking to go into college, looking to, looking to go to college around Florida or Bowie State, those two schools, B Bowie State and um Florida, in Pen in Maryland and Florida, looking to go to college after, after his year right here in Brockton. High. Okay, tipped by the boxers, so it'll be Quincy's ball. They take it out top. Back out top again, in the corner. That's Lopes. Lopes across the court there, inside, back out. And number 24, Edge loses it, back come the boxes. They get it inside the nickels, off the glass and in. Nice. Nice job, Brockton boxes working it inside. Six nothing the boxes with six minutes left in this first quarter. Again, first game of the season for the Brockton Boxers here at home. And it looks like Brockton's playing a man-to-man -man defense. Yeah, and it's working pretty well so far. Quincy's having a little problems adjusting to it. Shot clock is down, blocked by Nichols. Out in front there, Diamond Blakely, Diamond Blakely. lays it up and in. And Quincy President, they're gonna call timeout to regroup because uh, right now the boxers are playing some real good defense there, um, Chris. Yeah, real good defense. About three steals and they all led to baskets. That's what they, that's exactly what they need. Now look this team's looking strong so far already. Yeah, Coach Bowen said uh, in an interview early this year, he said that um, they graduated four seniors, so they got ten players at a back. So they've got some experience um, on the team this year, and he's expecting the boxers to have a good year. Yeah, it should be a good year. He said, he said, um, yeah, exactly. He said the returning players are doing well. Yeah, and it should be a good year. You'll oh. see it right there on the replay, Chris. Yeah, Todd Robinson on the steal. Quick, fast break basketball. Todd Diamond Blakely lays it in. Easy basketball. Yeah, Coach Bowen, yeah, Coach Bowen should be should be excited for this year as we see the veteran players and, and the veterans are standing out. Hey, what, yeah. do you th what do you think of Navon Reed? You think he get, added a little weight to him? Yeah, you know, he put a little he weight on, but Navon, ever since he was a freshman, he was a um, he was a protege. You could tell he was going to be something special. Now he's a junior, and he's one of the leaders out there this year. So he's got to make a little bit more noise this year. Kind of a quiet player, but he's got to make some noise this year, show some real leadership. 
Presidents have the ball, they bring it down. Blakely really giving uh, Konyevitz a junior, just fits. Diamond Blakely's defense is looking heck really good, really yeah, good he's, so far. He's, he's a real quick, quick guard. Uh, last year as a sophomore, he had a seven points, five assists, and two steals per game. Works it in the paint and is Ooh. blocked. Took a hard fall as well. Yeah. Took a hard fall. I like him driving into the, uh, he's not afraid to go into the paint. Try to draw the foul. Out top to Blakely. Robinson inside the paint. And that was uh, Trenton Biddle stolen. Presence come back and lays it up and in quickly. Nice job there by number 22, Desmond. Robinson up top. And there's a whistle. And they're gonna call a foul on number 35. Nichols. And he must have stepped on the um, inbounds oh, there. Stepped on the inbounds, a Brockton ball. Yeah. Vikim Nichols in the post, that's nice. good. Nice. Yeah, Vikim Nichols, I think he's gonna be hungry. Yeah, he looks like he's gonna be hungry this year. A couple of baskets early, let's see. Let's see if he could contribute more this year than yeah. he did last year. Yeah, nice job by Robinson getting the big man the ball right there in the paint. Easy two. 429 left in this first quarter. Quincy with only a, one basket. Brockton up 10 to 2. Right now, Brockton looks a little bit quicker than um, Quincy. Yeah, much more quicker, much more athletic, a little bit more more talented. Yeah, Brockton, Brockton got all the Brockton got all, all the check boxes against them already. They get it inside. Shot is up, no good. Well defended by Vikim Nichols. Quincy has the ball and stolen by Navon Reed. Reed. Here he comes. Lays it up and misses good defense. But Navon gets his own rebound. Robinson with the long bomb is good. Nice shot by Robinson, nice shot. At the three pointer, 13 two boxes. Quincy tries to work it inside, and they're gonna call double dribble. You'll see the, um, I believe, probably Robinson's long yeah, three, yeah. way out there. Yeah, the assist by Viking Nichols, and Curry, Curry range for Todd Robinson. Nice, nice shot. So the boxes will inbound it. Yeah, you see Quincy, I talked to the Quincy coach, he said he should be pressing Robinson nice early dish. and Vikim Nichols makes it in one. Nice dish by Navon Reed to number 34. That is Raymond Bento. Raymond Bento. Coming off the bench, contributing quickly, and he'll that was a foul, so he'll have a chance for a three-point play here. And he makes the um, makes the free throw, so nice job. That's a solid way to debut in your basketball career, Raymond Bento. Oh, nice defense, but they're going to call a foul, I believe, on Navon Reed. Yep. Navon's first foul of the day. Benny Nugan, if I'm pronouncing that right. Mm -hmm. Yes, you, you did pronounce it right, yes. Mm -hmm. Sophomore at the free throw line. <laughs> Quincy with the press, Brockton breaks it very nicely. In the corner. Jason Starks. Starks misses the shot, coming off the bench. 
There's a man open, but Quincy could not capitalize. Shot is no good. Good defense by the boxers. Robinson is stolen as he went up. Starks get, gets it back in the corner to Robinson, stops and pops. No good. Ooh, and over wow. the back wow. is um, Bento. A little bit too aggressive there. Quincy gets their offensive rebound. Navon Reed, Navon though, Reed. reads it nicely. Goes to the hoop, lays it up and in. Nice. Back is, comes Quincy. Is Brockton High boxer, the boxer defense is just looking at elite right now. Super elite. Yeah, Brockton's really running the ball right now. Quincy can't keep up. Stop and pop. No good. Inside. No good. Back comes the president's. That'll, that'll go back Brockton's way. See him in the replay. See the nice, the steal, Navon Reed takes it all the way. Yeah, does a nice easy, job easy protect, money. Yep, nice job protecting the basketball with his body. Mm -hmm. There's a whistle. That'll be Quincy Ball. I don't know if you can help me out here because we don't have the numbers for the first game here for the go, boxes. Sir. Here go, sir. Oh, here we go. Uh, here I'm looking go, at sir. number 25. Number 25 Xavier. is Vanilton Xavier. Shot is no good. In and out. Bento with the rebound. Here comes Starks quickly. Navon drives to the basket, lays it up and in. Wow, Navon is just looking sensational so far. Yes. He's sensational. Fifteen point lead for the boxes, commanding lead. You said it right, commanding. Excuse, excuse me, seventeen. Uh, they just changed the score. Sixteen. One twenty left in this first quarter. Oh wow. wow! Rejected. Navon is tripped oh. up, and that'll be a foul. Yeah, he got it. Navon was just tripped. Number 22 tripped on Devin Desmond of Quincy. And Navon will get a well-deserved de rest. Most certainly well-deserved. Yeah, number 22 checked in Isaac Lane. He actually played on the JV team last year. Let's see, let's see what he looks like so far in his varsity debut. So Brockton will inbound it. That starts. Will inbound the basketball for the boxes. Back out top. Starks takes the bomb. Good. Nice shot. Nice shot, Jason Starks. I remember Jason from last year. He had some streaks. When he got out there, he can hit that long shot. Certainly, certainly some streaks. He actually said he wants to get into HVAC after school. He's a senior. He wants to get into HVAC. So that's pretty interesting. Pretty interesting career for him. Yeah. Let's see what he does with that. As Quincy just knocked on a three. Starks against. No good. And he loses out of bounds with 29 seconds. Here, 23 to seven. Brockton with a commanding lead. Yeah, the pass by Noah Oluwu. Jason Starks. Jab step a bit. Easy jumper. Three. That's his game. Three-point shot is no good, in and out. Bento with the rebound, gets it out there. Vanilton Xavier. Slams it home. Slam jam, Vanilton. First slam of the year for the boxers, and the crowd reacts to it. Less than 10 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Long bomb partially tipped. Rebound Isaac Lane, and that's it.
So there you go, end of the first quarter. You'll see it right see here. It. Long bomb, we'll see the Out first dunk the, of the, the year. The pass, Vanilton Xavier. Bam. Easy slam. He got the hops. The junior, the junior got it done. So nice job on defense by the boxers. And when you play good defense, usually the offense follows. So and that's why you see the score right on your screen. 25 to seven, boxers with a commanding first quarter, into the first quarter lead. Yeah, commanding, commanding, commanding lead, and they get, and they got to keep it going. They're looking, they're looking, they're looking, they're looking really good so far. Against against a D one opponent, Quincy High. So, yeah. So Coach Bowen's got this team playing now. Coach Bowen enters his 36th year of coaching basketball. The last 13 have been with the varsity team. Wow, 36. Wow. Yes, and uh, earlier this year he was named National Federation of State High School High Schools Association Sectional Coach of the Year for the northeast part of the United States. So wow. uh, hats off to Coach Bowen and his accomplishments um, here at Brockton High. Wow, I amend that. That's, that's an honor. Wow. So we'll start you, this second quarter. Do you know where Coach Bowen was at before? Well, he I don't know where he was at before, but I know he, co he played basketball here at oh, Brockton okay. High. Wow. But his first number of years um, before his last 13th, he, he um, coached the junior varsity team. Oh, that's good. Isaac Lane for three. No good, and Quincy gets the rebound. And here come the presidents. And there'll be a foul on Starks. As Dylan Lopes, who is driving to the basket, will inbound the ball for Quincy. Lopes with it, takes the three. It's going to be short, air ball. Boxes get it down quickly in the corner. That's Parent, number 12, that's in playing guard. Yeah, and I really like Jason Parent. I've seen some of his JV games. He, he's, a really, he's a really exciting player. He, won't, he, will, he will not disappoint at all. Little spin move and is good, but it's traveling. So Xavier, Vanilton Xavier with a little spin move, but he traveled on the play. Yeah, yeah number three checks in for um, Quincy, Quincy Con, Con Uvas. And Con Uvas with the almost stolen ball. Not, actually, he did, he committed the turnover. Oh, actually committed number the turnover. 31 for boxes, Noah. Alawu, Alawu, nice defense. Gave Quincy inbound pass Fitz and caused the turnover. He gets it at the top of the key. Top, Xavier. Wow, what a rebound. Nichols misses on the um, rebound. Fresh shot clock. Good effort by Nichols. He just couldn't finish it. And there's a foul as uh, Noah drives to the basket and he'll go to the free throw line for two shots. Yeah, Noah Olu is a pretty aggressive player. He may, may be short in size, but aggressive player, big in heart. So he'll get rewarded with these two baskets, probably. Noah Lowe is a junior for the boxes. Actually played, actually played on the varsity team last year, but didn't get much minutes at all. But now, but now here's his opportunity here. Yeah, the boxers have all juniors and seniors on the team this year, so they've got an experienced team. Yes, as, as Viking Nichols just drew a foul, draw a foul. Quincy having a tough time getting anything really going with the tough boxer defense. Just totally taking them out of their rhythm. 25 to seven, inside, good. That was, that was number 20, Derek Little on the basket. Xavier, no good. Nichols spins, 
off the glass, misses. And the president's come out of there with the basketball. Here they come. Double team. Stolen. Little nice passing by the boxes. Yeah, that was, that was Jason Perry on the basket from, from the pass of Xavier. Great, great transition basketball. Quincy comes back comes and Comes right again. back and score, Quincy. Parent stops. Xavier is not bashful. Misses it. Now Quincy is actually picking up their momentum. Now, now, they seem, now they seem more comfortable with the game. In the corner, stop and pop. Long bomb, no good. They get the offensive rebound, no good. And Nichols comes out of there with it. And here come the boxes. Top of the key. Oh, Jason Parent. I actually, I actually thought Jason Parent was strangled a bit on that drive. Ref, ref probably did not see it. So we get some substitutions for the boxes as as a st some of the starters return yep. back. Yeah. We got Diamond Blakely and Todd Robinson, two experienced guards are back in. Ooh, nice behind the back. Dribble, no good. Offensive board is good. Number 22 for the Presidents. That's, that's, that's Devin Desmond. He's having a pretty, pretty decent game already so far. 27-13. And oh, they're gonna call travel. And Navon Reed will come in for Nichols. In the paint, no good. Rebound by Parent. He throws a long pass. Navon Reed tries to put it up. Gets his own rebound, puts it up and in. Wow, Navon Reed, what a boy. What a boy. Just, just too, too strong, too big athletic. Yeah, that, that was just great athletic ability. Great, yes. He got his own rebound and just powered his way up there. Was, was not being denied on that one. Oh, another Ooh, nice steal job by, by Robinson. Robinson goes to the basket, misses, but Diamond Blakely's there for the easy two. That was great cleanup. Yeah. Nice job defense by Navon Reed. Blakely. Navon's in the paint. Back to Diamond Blakely. Long bomb is no good, but he gets his own rebound, follows the shot, lays it up, and wow. no good. Nice job by Diamond Blakely to follow his shot. 31-13. That was too easy. One of the easiest shots for Quincy. Their little <laughs> breakdown on defense. It was one of the easiest shots. It was from the 5'8", Dylan Lopes. <laughs> Parent throws a little floater, no good. And it'll be Quincy's ball. Yeah, the pace of this game has just sped up quickly. Wow. Both of these teams are just playing fast now. It seems like, as I said, as I just said earlier, Quincy felt more comfortable. And now Brockton's little, looking a little shell-shocked. Yeah, Brockton, throughout this game so far, Brockton gets the ball down very quickly, which it makes it tough for Quincy to uh, set up Ooh. on defense. They get it inside the paint, shot is up, shot is no good, Ooh. but they're gonna call a foul on Blakely. Diamond Blakely's first foul. Brockton plays in the Southeast Conference this season, which includes some teams on see Bridgewater, Rainham, New Bedford, Durfee, and Dartmouth. So it's they're in the new Southeast Conference. Yeah, the Southeast Conference was just formed earlier this just just beginning of the soccer season, in in, in in Brockton. I think Brockton actually won the division for soccer too. 
And um, but a lot, but they lost. But the soccer team lost in the south, the south, the south sectional finals to Needham. Yeah, but I guess I guess they're bringing the rivalries with more teams in the Southeast Conference, expanding it a bit. Up top, three-point shot is no good. A big rebound by Bento. Yeah, he just towered over everybody and got that. Todd Robinson. Nice job, and they're gonna call Ooh, a charge. They're gonna call a charge. Wow. Nice drive by Robinson anyway, but in through traffic. And they're saying the uh, Quincy, we'll see it on yeah, replay. Let's see, see if he had his position. Number 22, he um, did. He did. He did. Two, cool. two arms up, feet planted. Yep, good call. You'll get it. Blocked by Navon, but retrieved by Quincy. In the paint, shot is good. Wow. He found the loose ball, number three. Yavitz, out top, shot is no good. That was attempted by Biddle. And here comes Desmond. In the corner, back to Desmond. Inside, and Ooh, wow. just slapped back, rejected by Robinson. Not today. Emphatic block by Robinson. Yeah, nice, nice an anticipation. By the senior, Todd Robinson. Stop and pop is good. Nice shot. And tipped a little, just a bit enough to cause the ball to go out of bounds, so it'll be Brockton's ball. Blakely has it up top, directing traffic. Oh, and that's that's three in the key against against Raymond Bento. Mm. So three seconds on is, is the call. Long three is no good. And Biddle got the rebound. He was trying to pass it off to a streaking boxer, but he lost um, control of the basketball. But they're going to call a foul, I believe. So Trenton Biddle, Biddle will take it out of bounds. In the corner. Inside. Little spin move blocked. Oh. Quincy comes out of there with the basketball. Stop and pop is no good. Robinson with the pass. Oh, wow. Ooh, nice pass by Robinson to oh. number 34, Bento. Quincy did not know what hit him. I believe that was just the warning issue to Raymond Bento. Delay a game warning. But nice play by the boxes. One minute left in this second quarter. Boxes with a commanding 33-19 lead. Nice pickpocket by Trent Biddle, but Quincy returned it. And they're gonna give it to Brock to the boxes. Great defense. Quincy really doesn't have a lot of answers to the Brockton's. Smothering defense. Biddle to the paint, and he misses the shot, but he was fouled. Trent Biddle took flight a bit, huh? What did you think of that? <laughs> it was a nice move. That was good. No fear by Biddle in the paint. Yeah, he, he, displayed that, he's, he displayed that a lot last season. So he'll get two at the free throw line with 41 seconds left in this first half. The 
Second shot is good. We're down to 30 seconds, 19 on the shot clock for Quincy. Anticipated, stolen by Todd Robinson. And it still brought the ball. Great anticipation by um, Todd Robinson no. has been everywhere so far in this yes. game. Great anticipation by Robinson. Okay, Coach Bowen is letting his team know, get, take the last shot with 23 seconds left. And of course, they get inside and Bento does not waste any time putting it back up and they're gonna call a jump ball. And it'll be Quincy's ball with 23 seconds on the clock. Another steal by Robinson. And Ooh. he loses the basketball. He lost the ball. You don't see that that often. He really wanted he wanted it really badly. And Quincy gets the ball back. So they'll have the ball with eight seconds on the clock. They try to dish it off, but Diamond Blakey comes up with it. Gotta shoot it. And that was before the shot, no good. No good. And you saw it there. So, first half ends with Brockton, a 34-19 score. You'll see it right there. And basically, Chris, Brockton's really just smothered uh, Quincy on, on defense. Just Quincy could never get in their rhythm. And Brockton capitalized on steals. And, and, and you saw it out there on the court, what they did. Yeah, I did see it. And there were so many steals. Todd Robinson, Todd, Rez Todd Robinson has been a show-out player so far. Well, what, four steals already? Navon, Navon Reed scored a lot in the paint, looking like a bully. They need to continue. Um, those two need to continue more of that to, for this game to um, be much, much, be much more of a blowout and more of a commanding game for Brockton. All right, there you have it, folks. Miles Jackson with Chris Brazil. We'll be back for second half action in a moment. Welcome, everybody, back to Brockton High Basketball. We're here in the second half. I'm Miles Jackson, bringing you all the action here with Chris Brazil, yes. my broadcast partner. Chris, what did you see in that first half? Yeah, what I see was um, Brockton. Brockton was very dominant early on. Then Quincy, then Quincy picked it up a bit. They picked up their defense. Brockton picked up their defense. The Quincy press worked a little bit. But let's see, let's see what happens in the second half. It's a, it's a new round, honestly. Brockton, yeah. Brockton blew through a big jab, and Quincy kind of threw a big jab black back. They they, they kind of reduced the um. The, the deficit. Let's see what happens in the second half. Yeah, Quincy looked like they came out slow, had to adjust to Brockton's quickness on defense. They did a nice job in that second quarter to kind of climb back in a little bit. You see the score, 34-19, and here we go with Brockton inbounding the pass. Start of the third quarter. Diamond Blakely. Biddle. Navon drives to the basket and lays it up and Ooh. no good. Steals it back. Quincy kind of standing around in amazement. Wow. What? Nice little pass, dish off. Nice. Beautiful, beautiful offensive repertoire from Navon Reed to set up like him Nichols. Beautiful. Yes, nice job. Nichols is ready for the pass. In the paint. Oh, wow. Biddle almost steals it. Trenton Biddle shows his quickness. And you can see early on in this season, Brockton has a very quick team. Yeah, very quick. Much more quicker than last year. You can see they like to anticipate that pass. And they will go after it for the steal. And it's a timeout, Quincy. As uh, Coach David Parry for Ron Quincy, calls a timeout because he does not want this to uh, see Brockton all of a sudden stop making a run here because right now Quincy is not ready for that Brockton defense yeah, here yeah, in the third yeah, quarter. Yeah, they're not ready and they can't afford it. Yeah, the, yeah, the Quincy coach, David Parry, he, he just told me that Quincy, this is a new young team. That, he told me that they're learning. They're just trying to get better. But they're, and they're looking pretty decent against this Brockton club. Not, not down by too much, but 
they're staying with them a little bit. 7-11 here in the third quarter. Again, Brockton only graduated four seniors last year, so. Yeah, yes, yeah. and some of those seniors are actually here for this game, so it's pretty nice to see them, like Tajian yeah. and Silva and um, Sunny Okanlola, I've seen them, it was good. Sunny's out there in the crowd. Yes. Wow. And rejected. Yeah, that was by Viking Nichols. Viking Nichols is looking really impressive so far in this game. Just really good. Displaying his whole talent. In the corner, long bomb is good. Yeah, that was number three, Khan Yuvaz. Nice shot by him. He okay. was open, so he took it. Talk out there, talk. Get in the paint. Blakely. And they're going to call double. Double dribble. That was good defense by Quincy. Yes. Yeah, don't, yeah, the Quincy defense has really picked it up. Brockton's, Brockton's looking a little confused, just a bit. Yeah, just a bit. Quincy brings it over half court. Put Davis to number 11, dishes off nicely, and he's you've got to make those, but he rebounds, his, gets his own rebound. Number 24, Jordan Edge, takes advantage and gets the two underneath. Todd, Todd Robinson, Robinson no. no good. Back comes Quincy. Oh, nice. Viking Nichols should not have chased that. Should yeah. not have chased it. Wow, what do you think about the possession arrow to Quincy? The time of possession they've been clocking up right now. Wow. They've been eating up the ball lately. lately. And well, that was a it's still early, but they've done a nice job here in the early on this third quarter. They're only down by 12 points. Biddle into the paint, and he's going to get fouled. Nice job driving to the basket. Yeah, that's really that's one of his that's one of his specialties of his game. That's what I love from, love to see from him. Trenton Biddle, a senior. Makes his first free throw attempt. 5:53 on the clock here in the third quarter. This is BCA Sports bringing you the first game of the season here at Staff Gymnasium on the campus of Brockton High School. Yeah, as Trent Biddle goes perfect from the line. Okay, we've got a good crowd out here tonight. You see it on your screen. Yes. Mm -hmm. In the corner. Back out top. Stop and pop. No good. Quincy underneath. Wow. And rejected. Wow. Nicely timed by Javon Reed. Navon Reed, excuse me. Yeah, the big man for Brockton has been looking really good. Um, those, those two in Raymond Bent, Bent, Bento, they've been looking really good. Wild was, shot is good. Uh, that was a wild shot by number 11. That was Dylan Lopes. Again, a 12-point lead with five minutes left in this third quarter. Robinson tries to dish underneath to somebody. Blakely comes out of there, brings it back out top to Biddle. Robinson is partially blocked. Navon gets it, lays it up and in. Great, I, great awareness. Yeah, I was going to say great awareness by uh, Navon. He had his back to the play and rejected, but they're going to call a foul. And I believe they called it on uh, Biddle. They didn't call it on. They didn't call it on uh, 
Nichols. They called it on Biddle. So at the free throw line is number 23, Foot Davis. Jordan Foot Davis, a sophomore for Quincy. Yeah, Jordan Foot Davis, um, the sophomore. J David Perry, the head coach, he told me he's a, a very special player. Standing at six feet as he, as he missed the second free throw. Navon comes out of there, brings it down quickly, coast to coast, lays it up and in. Nice. Navon Reed. He just took charge right there, got the rebound and took it coast to coast. Stolen by Robinson. Lays, oh, almost looked like they could have called uh, interference, but somehow Quincy comes out of there with the basketball. Here comes Todd Robinson. He lays it up and in. Nice. And there's a whistle. Timeout by Quincy. And you see the score, 44-27. Boxes, Quincy tried to run with the boxes, but they can't run with the boxes. And yeah. boxes did a nice job adjusting there in the, um, late here in the third quarter. Yeah, as we said, Brockton, as you just said, Brockton, Brockton's a little bit more quicker. Yeah, Brockton's been getting to the line that lately. Yeah, they've been, they've been playing a little bit better, better. Yeah, Quincy made a valiant effort, but the boxers turned it on with their defense and quickness and speed. And, and, and size. And size. And, and there it is on, on, the, on your screen, 44-27 with 3.51 left in this third quarter. As Coach David Parry talks to his team on the sideline, trying to instruct them on um, don't try to run with these guys, slow the ball down a little bit. Because um, if you do that, these, this is what Brockton likes to do. You can see it's the first game of the season, but it looks like Brockton likes to run the football. I mean, excuse me, run the basketball. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We've been seeing that with, with so many outlet passes on, on transition deep, on transition offense. Yeah, they're not wasting any time getting that ball down quickly. Yeah, Brockton's been looking good. Okay, so uh, let's see. Quincy inbounds the basketball because they called the timeout. Lopes with the ball. Lopes goes to the basket, kind of blocked, but Quincy retains the basketball. Oh, stolen. Wow. Blakely, excuse me, Robinson lays it up and in. Nice. Nice pass by Navon Reed. Good defense by the boxes, 46-27. Yeah, defense sets its offense. Exactly. Great play by those two. Nice steal by Trent Biddle. Uh, Biddle, yes, but wow. stolen back by Desmond. He goes to the basket, lays it up, and it doesn't fall. Outlet pass to Biddle, protects the ball, and he's fouled. Nice job, Biddle, protecting the basketball, goes up and gets fouled. Smart play. As you see, Nate Von Reed goes behind the back a bit. One arm, pa one hand pass to Todd Robinson. And Todd Robinson took nice, flight. Nice teamwork by the boxes. And Biddle is at the free throw line again. In and out. Nice. 20 point lead for the boxes. 3.03 left in this third quarter. See the problem with Quincy, if they slow it up, then they gotta deal with Brockton's set defense. Yes, exactly. Another outlet pass. Ooh, and you know Robinson wanted to dunk that one. He did make the two. A little slow motion inside the uh, rim. Block. Damon Bento. Ah, oh, man. He's everywhere tonight. Everywhere. A little floater, no good. Robinson comes out of the pack. 
with the left hand no good and then they're gonna, Bento knocked it out of bounds. So it'll be uh, Quincy's ball with two minutes, 12 seconds left in this third quarter. Yeah, we got a fresh set of players, Isaac Lane, Vinilton Xavier, and Jason Starks. Those three will check in, get some more minutes. As the starters get, get a good rest. Three is no good air ball, and over the top. This is Raymond Bento. Very aggressive player, huh? Yeah, I, I like that. He's not afraid to go after that basketball. He's a big man, and that's what he should do. I think that's only a second foul of the evening. Out top for Quincy. Shot is good. Nice shot. Three-pointer by Colin Uvaz. Looking good so far. And See, that was Isaac Lane. He actually stepped out of yeah. bounds. Isaac stepped out of bounds, so it'll be Quincy's ball again. Quincy gets past half court with this tenacious defense by the boxes. Shot no good. Rebound Isaac Lane. Inside to Bento, back out in the corner. Starks, no good, but Bento gets it and tries to put it up, but he was too far underneath the basket. But but nice nice um offensive hustle by the um, boxers there. Yes 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 that was nice and I actually like I actually like the um the pass from Vanilton Xavier. He actually had an open three at, right there, but he actually passed it to the better shooter Jason Starks, who actually missed. So that's unselfish basketball though. So it was a it was a pretty good possession by the boxers. Yeah. There. Fifty-four seconds left in this third quarter. And it'll be a foul. And that'll be on uh Alou. Noah. This is actually number fourteen, Dylan Lopes at the line. He's had a pretty productive game for the president so far. Makes his second free throw attempt. Stocks inside, tries to get inside, but it's blocked by Quincy. So it'll be Brockton's ball with 43 seconds left here in the third quarter. Stark goes inside, lays it up and in. Nice, nice. Kind of faked the outside shot. Yeah, he did. And what I liked about that possession, they were patient. They used some of the time clock. Kind of a wild shot. And Quincy gets the ball back. Kind of a wild pass. Oh, wow, Dylan Lopes for three. Lopes makes the three. Boxes come right back down the court. Bomb, no good. So the third quarter ends a very fast third quarter with Quincy trying to keep up with this very quick boxer team. And you see the score, 51-34 going into the fourth quarter. Yeah, 51-34. Yeah, Quincy actually um, picked up the pace, as we said. 
Yeah, the game seemed a bit more even. It actually, it was actually a bit of more of a cleaner game towards the end of the third quarter. It was less sloppiness like it was in the beginning. Both of these teams played more easy offense and easier defense. So yeah, so both of these teams should be happy after, after this third quarter. But let's see if boxers could hold on to this lead. Yeah, I, me personally, I don't see box, ha, boxers having any problem. What the right now, the boxers' strength is their bench. They don't miss a beat as far as defense when their their um, second stringers come in there and give the starters a rest. It's just tenacious defense on, from the bench players. They're doing an excellent job playing defense, coming uh, giving the starters their rest. Yeah, I love the depth of this Brockton High team. The depth is just outstanding because because I actually know some of these guys um personally so they're really good so they're really good players and really good really good kids and, and that's what's giving Quincy problems when um, the starters for Brockton come out just still no let up with um, Brockton's um, bench players coming on strong exactly yes. and um, that's why Qu that's why you see the score 51 34. So Quincy will inbound the ball here starting the fourth quarter. And you can see Noah's all on him. And shot is no good. Out quickly. That was Isaac Lane smartly brings it back out top. He's inside, goes in the paint, rejected. Starks with it in the corner and brings it back out top. Xavier inside the paint, stops, pops, and is fouled. Brockton doing a good job moving the basketball. So Xavier will get two shots at the free throw line with seven minutes and 31 seconds to go. Yeah, yeah the boxes have struggled from the line today. They've been struggling a bit. In and out. Nice steal, Starks. Jason Starks. Wow. Great anticipation by Starks. In the corner. Long bomb. No good. Go. Quincy comes out of there with it. They get it up quickly. And they're going to call a foul. Yeah, Vanilton Xavier is upset about that one. He he actually he's, he actually played on he actually played on the soccer team for Brockton High. Are they gonna call that? A he's pretty he was a he was a pretty good soccer player for the team too. Uh huh. A dual threat out athlete. Wow. Fouls on um, Xavier and shot is good again by number three. Yavitz. Yeah, Wow, coast to coast. Isaac Lane. Isaac Lane just used his speed and dribbled right through the defense and lays it up and in. Wow, another Anticipation. Steal. Wow. He was not going to be denied there. Isaac Lane again. Isaac Lane, a senior, excuse me, a junior, showing his skills and tenacious defense. He's, he's looking terrific. Nichols, nice job protecting the basketball on the, on the defensive boards. We, was not being denied. Nobody was taking that ball yeah, away Nichols from him. Nichols was not letting that ball be taken away from exactly. him. Exactly. It was his ball. <laughs> Noah Lowe. Starks takes the three. Good! Nice shot. Jason Starks. Long three from downtown. As you heard the announcer, that was way out there with a man on him in his face. Shot, no good. Rebound, no good. Another board, and finally it's good. And he was fouled, number 20. That's actually Derek Little. Derek a Little. Senior forward. Mixing it up underneath with, with the big guys from Brockton. And he comes out of there and chance for a three-point play here. And 
Nichols will come out for a rest for Brockton. Well-deserved rest. And you got a very quick team out there for the boxers at the moment. There's no real legit big man out there for the boxers. Yeah, a bunch of, bunch of speed and speed, skill. Yeah, yeah, speed. And you know what they say, speed, speed kills. Yes. Mm -hmm. So 5.26 left in this ball game. Boxes with a commanding 19 point lead. Isaac Lynn just everywhere yeah. with that steal. Uh, Brockton wasn't able to get it. Stocks almost stole it back, but it will stay with Quincy right in front of the Quincy bench. Yeah, the foul will be on Jason Parent. Jason Parent, a junior, very aggressive on defense. He's all, yeah, he's also, he's also a, a terrific offensive player as well. Like, did, did, didn't show, doesn't show much of it, ha hasn't shown much of it so far tonight because he hasn't been getting the ball. Little st Quincy steals it back and takes advantage and gets the two easy two. Long bomb again by Starks. It goes, hits the rim, comes back out, and Quincy capitalizes and gets the rebound. In the paint, little shovel shot, no good. And a lot of Quincy shots I noticed this game, Chris, is um, they kind of just praying that it go, they're throwing it up there because of Brockton's great defense. Yeah, Brockton has the length on them, the link, the linkiness on them, and, and they've been playing great defense on them as well. Yeah, as we said, as we said, some of those shots were desperation shots. Exactly. Stolen by Quincy. And it'll be a jump ball. And it'll be Brockton's possession. So with 417 left in this ball game, boxes will retain possession of the basketball. Yeah, number 32 checks in, Michael Curry. That's an interesting, that's an interesting substitution. His his varsity debut. He actually played on the JV team last year. Let's see, let's see what he could do. In the fourth quarter, four minutes to go. Parent for the, for the mid-range, he'll miss it. Gets his own rebound, puts it up and in, and is fouled. In one, nice play. Nice hustle. So Jason Parent will go through the free throw line. Again, a junior. Shot goes in and out. Quincy comes out of there with the basketball. They get it over half court. Long bomb is no good. Yeah, as you, as you said, all oh, miles, you, you, you greatly descriptive it. Um, Quincy just throwing up some prayer shots. And some of them I've actually went in. Yeah. As, as Noah Olu, I think, was fouled on that drive. And again, because of the great boxer defense, that's, that's what, what they're given. They, you know, they, because of the, like you said, the outstretched defense of um, Brockton, it's just causing fits for Quincy. Stolen. And they get an easy two. That was Jordan Foot Davis. Isaac Lane at the top. Xavier takes the stop and pop, no good. Parent in and out. And back comes Quincy with 322 left in this ball game. They 
A 23 point lead right now by the boxes. You got seven on the shot clock. Michael Curry with the steal. Oh, wow. And a charge. Uh, Curry didn't know what to do with the ball. Yeah, Curry, Curry. didn't know. He was, he, was, he was waiting for his trailers. corner oh, blocked. blocked but he gets his own rebound and throws it up and no good boxers come out of there with the rebound that's parent in the corner to Korea he sends it back out top across the court Xavier long bomb no good and Quincy comes out of there with the basketball Oh, that's an Xavier. Could he? Oh, he oh. fouled. He fell kind of ugly, too. Yeah. Oh, man. On his hip, but he looks like he's okay. He looked like he wanted to slam it. Yo, I'm just glad I'm just glad he's okay, walking perfectly under his power. So he'll shoot two at the free throw line with two minutes and eight seconds left in this ball game. Yeah, two minutes and eight seconds. It kind of seemed like Brockton kind of wrapped it up a bit. Oh, they done wrapped up this game a long time ago. <laughs> really, Quincy, the problem with, another problem with Quincy, they don't have a bench like Brockton does. Yeah. So when their starters get tired, they really don't have a lot of firepower coming off the bench like Brockton does. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's, there's, about, there's, a, there's about a good five players on Brockton bench that could be starters exactly. in terms of talent. And Quincy does not have that, as we already have said. have the yeah. talent coming off the bench. Ooh, nice rebound there by number 22 and puts it right off the glass without putting it on the floor. Keep going, keep talking, help, help. Another turnover from Brockton. Xavier wasn't able to hold on to it. No Olawu, rough nice. steal. Nice defense. Oh, wow. Oh. I, I don't think um, no, no one knew that he was going to follow him. Yeah, he had, he had Jason Xavier on the left side yeah. of the basket. He had no clue that, that who he stole it from was right behind him. You'll see it here on the replay, I believe. Yeah, and Devin Desmond, bow. Rejection, capital R. Desmond say, even though you stole it from him, you got to earn the shot. Bang. Xavier hits the long three. One minute, 23 seconds left in this ball game. Brockton looks like they're gonna cruise to their first victory of the season. Parent for the mid-range, it's good. Oh no, miss, excuse me. Xavier with another three, bang. Wow, what a shot. Second second three, wow. Nice shot of yeah, Nelson. He, yeah, uh, Xavier's not bashful about throwing that three up. Kick ball by Brockton. Alou. And be because of Alou's aggressive defense, the ball handler for Quincy just lost the ball. Exactly. Alou has had a great night tonight. Great player. Smart player. High IQ. Less than a minute left in this ball game. Box is on top, big time. Stop and pop is no good. And it'll be Quincy will retain the basketball. No, it's Brockton's ball. Brockton's ball, okay. Korea. Inside. Shot is missed by Lowe. And 
Noah will go to the free throw line. With 32 seconds left in this ball game. Ooh, wow. The air ball, the first attempt. Might be a little winded because these guys have been really hustling out yeah. there on defense. They've played just about the whole uh, fourth quarter. Yeah, man, that's a good point. I'm glad you brought that up. Stamina. Yeah. yeah, these kids are going through it. Twenty seconds to go. And it'll be Quincy's ball. Maybe jump ball. And Quincy will retain it with three seconds left on the clock. And the shot is good. End of the game. And there you go, there's the ball game, folks. You see it on your screens. Boxers come out of here with their home opener, 68-45, and Chris Brockton's tenacious defense by the starting five and the bench was just too much for this Quincy team. Yeah, it was too much. So many steals. I think Brockton had over 10 steals in this game. Their defense was really good. They were extremely quick. Yeah, I'll, I'll give the game ball to Navon Reed. Had the most points in the game. Um, did, did everything, a lot of everything. Todd Robinson, a lot of steals, a lot of layups. Viking Nichols was good. Jason Stark showed out. Noah Oluwu was very good at the end. It was an all-around effort by these guys. It's going to be a great season for these for the, for the, for the, for the, for the Brockton Boxers. They looked really good. Yeah. So good luck to them. 1-0. Yeah, 1-0. Yeah, Brockton comes out of here with their first win of the season again. 68-45. I'm Miles Jackson along with Chris Brazil. Until next time, folks, we'll see you later.